Welcome to the post-game show presented by the Maroon Club. Every gift matters every year. Join the Maroon Club today. Our player of the game is presented by Coca-Cola. Experience the Coke side of life. Win number 301 for free enough, Fran O'Hanlon. Well, thanks, Gary. Here with Coach O'Hanlon. Coach, every win in this league is uh, tough to come by, but this one's got to be satisfying. Well, yeah, it's our first uh, league home win. You know, we uh, talked about it. We have to protect our home and do a better job with that. And, uh, and you know, we uh, this is a good team that we played. You know, they, they're very physical. Um, you know, we had some ups and downs here, but I thought when they closed the gap, we did a good job of, of making the big shots and getting the big rebounds when we needed to. Yeah, and I think that's got to be especially satisfying. And I thought for the first eight minutes, I thought it was some of the best basketball I've seen all season from you guys. Yes, it was. But, you know, we'd like to play 40 minutes. But that, sometimes that doesn't always work. But uh, hopefully we'll keep building on this and we'll get more consistent. Okay, Coach, we'll see you for a big one on Sunday. Thank you. Okay. Matt, come on in, Matt. 21 points tonight, Matt. Obviously, I just talked to Coach. Some of the best basketball I think I've seen you guys sharing the ball and obviously making open shots. Yeah, that was fun. I mean, getting a win here in front of the home crowd and everyone contributing, it was a lot of fun. Yeah, and again, a, a lot of, couple fouls early for you, but it looked like early you had some things coming down and then everybody sharing the basketball, moving the basketball, a lot of layups. Yeah, like I've been saying, my teammates behind me, everyone was contributing and it was fun. So. Okay, we'll see you here on Sunday, right? Thank you, yes sir. Okay. Guys, a big one on Sunday against Boston U, but every win in the Patriot League, especially when you could put them back to back. Loyola and now Army, back to you. Nothing better than one away and one at home. The highlights right now with John Leone. Yeah, Gary, and there were plenty of them. This was a hard fought game. Two teams kind of evenly matched. Army's always going to be competitive. Jordan Fox drops it inside. Hoffman on the finish. Uh, the, I'm sorry, that was Wilson, who's the talented young freshman. Boy, Amezi was so good around the basket, Gary. He's long, he's lanky, he's young. This Army team, you heard Fran O'Hanlon say it, uh, they are a talented group, and uh, this was a quality win, uh, as we see, uh, uh, again, uh, great dribble penetration. And Messi on the outside showing that he can do it from downtown. Boy, Jordan Fox all night, I I'm sorry, uh, Funk, Tommy Funk all night long was just a thorn in the leopard side, getting the ball uh, inside uh, consistently, and then his players living off of him. Number 25 that time with Luke Morrison, Contributing. Matt Planuski was the player of the game, Gary, and for good reason. Look at him run the floor. A great delivery here from Mick, uh, Nick Lindner. I kind of thought Nick might have been in the running for player of the game. Boy, the way Lafayette played tonight, the way they shared the basketball, it could have been any one of four or five players that could have shared in the player of the game. Uh, Polish Elise, great defensive play right here, tips it to himself, and then finishes in transition. He had a couple of huge plays, but Gary, this was a game when Fran O'Hanlon's going to look at this group and everyone had a hand in this win. Uh, Nick Lidner hit a couple of dynamite threes down the stretch. He's your leader. And Gary, you made a great point. And last year when uh, the team was struggling, it was if Nick uh, kind of chased the game and tried to make more happen than he needed to. Uh, he more or less is letting the game come to him. He's getting his teammates involved. That was Hunter Janacek with a, a kind of a dagger near the end, but this was a true team effort, and I think when Coach O'Hanlon breaks down this film, there's a lot of great teaching moments from it tonight. No question about it. Certainly a good win. I thought I was going to give you a final score at West Point. Not going to happen. Lafayette went down, scored a fast break basket with three seconds to go, and Army came back and tied it mm. at 55-55. That game's going overtime. Here are the final numbers for tonight's ball game. Army 74 points on 26 field goals, 8 for 30 from beyond the arc, 14 for 20 from the foul line. They got double figure scoring out of Tommy Funk with 13, Jordan Fox 10, and John Amezi had 11 points in the ball game. For Lafayette, there's 79 points on 28 field goals, nine for 27 from beyond the arc, 14 for 17 from the free throw line. Double figure scoring out of Hunter Janicek 10, Palace Jalees 10, Nick Lindner 20, and Matt Klanuski with 21. Leopards good on the boards tonight. They were just out rebounded 40 to 39. Army now has a six and nine record overall, 0 and three in the Patriot League. Lafayette six and eight overall and two and one in the Patriot League. Boston University in town on Sunday afternoon at two o'clock. Mike Joseph will be here. John Leon will be here. Rick Gill and the RCN television team will be here. So I'm going to stop by too. We want you to come and watch that ball game with us at two o'clock on the Lafayette. Sports Network.